Members of San Diego's congressional delegation, they are now calling on President Biden to declare a federal emergency to help recover from last week's flooding. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs joining us now. Congresswoman, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Great to be with you. OK, let's get to that letter and the letter to the president uh, this week. You called for the declaration if and that's a big uh, if federal criteria is met. Explain what the federal criteria is for something like this. Yes, so we are working closely with our state and local partners to make the case that we do qualify for the federal disaster declaration, with then, which then unlocks uh, a number of different uh, FEMA assistance for individuals and for our community. Um, that uh, criteria is a little bit complicated, but essentially it's about $15 million in public county damages and then uh, $12.7 million uh, statewide. But the biggest things that people can do for us right now is that uh, the county of San Diego is who is uh, compiling that information to help us make the case. So anyone who has suffered any sort of flooding damage or rain damage to their home or their business, um, please fill out the county survey um, because that is the information we are using uh, to make the case. And I'm sorry, it's $72 million statewide, not 12. Um, yeah, that's a big that's I, a lot. Big difference. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I've been out with our uh, local electeds in uh, our community in Rolando Park, Rolando Village, Mission Valley, Spring Valley, Lemon Grove, touring the damage, uh, trying to make sure I understand uh, and, and meeting with families who have been impacted so that I can, you know, more compellingly make this case about why we need this federal disaster declaration. And, and thankfully, you know, you mentioned the county and people have responded and they have signed up online uh, for this list that you talked about. Is there anything Congress can do to help without necessarily getting that declaration? I mean, they see what's happened. They see the damage. Yeah, you know, we're we're working closely with our partners in the executive branch with the White House with FEMA to try and make sure that we're getting as much federal assistance as we can. Um, I know that so many families and small businesses have been devastated by the storm. Um, and, you know, in last term, we passed the bipartisan infrastructure law where we got over $12 billion uh, for storm and wastewater. That money is now starting to be distributed. Uh, and so we're working with our state and local partners to make sure that we're getting that money to San Diego so we can do the hard work and make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. You mentioned you recently visited some of those areas impacted. I want you to tell me more about what you saw because when you hear Congress and money and funding and declarations and this and that and red tape, this, that, politics and politicians, when you see the people and you meet them on the ground, you see the devastation, you see the lives essentially destroyed, the, the homes destroyed, and there's a desperation and there's an urgency about what they need, right? How did that affect you and if that's what you saw? Absolutely. Uh, I talked to families who had all of their belongings just completely ruined, um, who weren't sure if they were ever going to get back into their home, who were living in hotel rooms, and that's even if they could find a hotel. Some of them were living on couches or in their cars. Uh, I saw small businesses that this is, you know, the third emergency they've had in the course over a year of a year or two, and we're just trying to figure out how they were even going to bounce back and if it was even worth it to keep trying. Um, the devastation to our community is very real. And so that's why we're working so hard with our state and local partners to try and get our community everything they need so that these families and small businesses can rebuild. But without calling out any specific person, I know all those photos of the people there that you were talking to when, when they see their congresswoman out there. What are they telling you specifically? I mean, what do they do? They tell you we need this, we need that, and we need it now? Or, or what can you share? Yeah, a lot of what they wanted to know was, first of all, just that we cared, um, that we understood what was going on and that we were showing up. Um, but they also wanted to know what the plan is. What was the plan to get them assistance? What was the plan to help get them back into their home? Um, you know, what we were doing to try and help. Uh, and, you know, that's why I was so grateful to go with Council President Sean Ela Rivera, with our city council folks in Lemon Grove, uh, with our county supervisor in Spring Valley, um, so that we could have an answer 
answer at all levels of government because it's true at the federal level we work in these really big numbers and these really complicated things like federal disaster declarations and it and it is often those local folks who are able to give the more immediate assistance right now while we work to get that big federal declaration which will unlock a lot more yeah. assistance for our families and, and a lot more money that is needed because right away the city the county the state all declared a state of emergency and this money will help out hopefully the federal government can get on top of it. We have more rain coming too. I mean, this is a, two more massive storms. Yeah, we, uh, I'm very concerned about yeah. the rain that's on Um, You know, I, I urge everyone to sign up for the Alert San Diego, and uh, there's places you can get and fill sandbags for free. The county website has all of that information. Um, you know, preparation is the best thing we can do right now, and, and we'll keep working with our state and local folks to make sure we're doing everything we can. All right, Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, uh, thank you for taking the time and joining us live this morning. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.